Hello and welcome. I'm Damon Bruce. Good to have you along for the NBA here on 2K Sports. The contenders starting to emerge as the NBA season picks up a little steam. It'll be the Orlando Magic facing off against Kobe Bryant and the L.A. Lakers. The NBA right here on 2K Sports. Basketball action at Staples Center in Los Angeles, the home of the Lakers here on 2K Sports. Looking at the Lakers, they took the win in their last game against the Charlotte Bobcats. And guys, it was a blowout too. I think that surprised some people. And above all else in that game, the long-range shooting, to me, was what made the biggest impact. Well, you called it. You're all over it, Steve. I mean, it's really hard for an opponent to overcome that kind of three-point barrage. I mean, I think it's the great equalizer can negate a lot of weaknesses if you can make three-point shots. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Arenas and Richardson pair up in the backcourt. Brandon Bass is out there with Hito Turkoglu, and it's Howard in at the five. And for the Lakers, Artest and Powell in the forward slots. Fisher and Kobe man the backcourt, and it's Bynum in at the center position. When you talk about that great front court depth for the Lakers, all that length, rebounding, their ability to really crash the glass. And they were actually the fifth best rebounding team in the NBA last year in terms of rebounding differential. Now here's Arenas. Six on the shot clock. He's covered by Fisher. Arenas misses. And Steve, you were talking about that differential, two and a half extra possessions in their favor because of it. And, and Clark, for the Lakers, already a very good team offensively. With that rebounding advantage, those extra possessions, more often than not, lead to a basket. Well, they've got such tremendous size. When you look at Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum, you throw in Lamar Odom. I mean, those guys are long and really good rebounders at both ends, but particularly on the offensive glass. And... You know, anytime you get an offensive rebound, usually those defense, the defenders are scrambled, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to get a high-quality shot. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Stan Van Gundy. Since it's their first meeting with Los Angeles this season, he's interested to see if anything has changed about the Lakers team, specifically the interplay between Kobe and Pau Gasol. He said they're both capable of doing so many different things that it's hard to choose what approach is the right one defensively. But it's something he hopes his guys figures out early tonight. Gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. Well, I tell you, Jason Richardson was having what I thought was a strong season for the Suns last year, but things went a bit south when he was traded over to the Orlando Magic. Now here's Kobe. 29 points for him last game against the Bobcats in Charlotte. That was a dangerous pass, but he put it right where it had to be. Clark, going back to Richardson, he went from 19 points a game to around 14 points after the trade, so you're right on that one. Steve, did the, the change in his production surprise you at all? Not really, Kevin, because he went from playing with Steve Nash uh, to uh, Dwight Howard, and it's a different style. And you're going to get some open looks off of the double team of Dwight Howard, but there's nothing like playing with Steve Nash. You're, you're playing a high pace. You're getting open look after open look in transition and in the half court. Uh, there's no better player to feed off of in the NBA than Steve Nash. Back to Arenas. Picked up by Kobe. Artest against Turkoglu. Over Artest. And the basket by Turkoglu. Well, they needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. The Lakers in the lead. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. Well, this is going to be fun. Two of the league's great teams going head-to-head. -head. Here's Fisher. Back to Kobe. Open look. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. Kobe's got his first points in this one. The Magic trailed by four. And, you know, I remember the two games these two teams played last year, Clark. One going each way. And both of those games were really super hyped up. I mean, 
uber hype, real highlights of the regular season. Well, last season, Dwight Howard became the first player in league history to win the Defensive Player of the Year award three consecutive seasons. Kevin, that's absolutely amazing. Free throw good, Howard. You're right on that defense, Clark. He is something else. He has actually seen a lot of firsts in his time in the league. He's also the first player ever to lead the league in total rebounds. Steve for five consecutive seasons. Well, he's so dominant. And the thing he did last season with Orlando was he, he added to his low post game. He became a better scorer down on the block. And that's going to have to continue. That type of improvement offensively to, to make him tougher and tougher to cover. Guys, you know it's never easy to win on the road, but the Orlando Magic found a way last year as they finished with one of the best road records in the Eastern Conference. Find him with a screen on Turkaloo. No luck. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. You know, he's not going to make a mistake when he gets in tight. That's a good hoop there. And it's the Lakers' ball. Well, Clark, you're right. They were 23-18 and 18 away from Orlando. Steve, that's, uh, that was one of the best road records in the NBA. Yeah, well, that's impressive. I mean, they've got a beautiful new facility there in Orlando, the Amway Center. They're a good home team, but the fact that they won consistently on the road was very impressive. Here's Fisher. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. You know, Kevin, it turned out that Mike Brown was the man for the Lakers job, and he inherits an interesting team here in L.A. I mean, a lot of potential, but coming off a disappointing end to last season. Now here's Arenas. He's coming off a 10-point game against Phoenix. Knocks it loose. Down to five on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. Gets it to go. Arenas has got five. We're getting back to Brown for just a second. Clark, you're just talking about him. You know, Steve, he has big shoes to fill. Anytime you're trying to replace a legend like Phil Jackson, that, that's there's a lot in front of you there. Yeah, it's one of the highest profile coaching positions in any sport in the world. But Mike Brown will be prepared. I mean, he, he had to, to deal with the circus around LeBron James in Cleveland over those years and uh, did a nice job there. So uh, I think Mike Brown is the right guy for the job. Here is Arenas following the basket by Kobe Bryant. So they take the lead. Eight points for Gilbert Arenas. Everything is working for him right now. He's been a huge factor in the quarter. Now Fisher. Backing down is Bryant. Puts it up. He goes up and finish off by Gasol simply tenacious play out of that young fellow. Yeah, excellent put back jam. You're right. Well, that's what he prides himself on. Hard work under the glass. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. Well, you know, a recent stat said that in the last 15 years, the Lakers are on average the best offense in the NBA. But in crunch time, ironically, they fall to around 12th best offensively. Not nearly as effective. get a chance to check out the standings out east already we are in december taking a look at miami right now they're off to a fast start first place in the conference and checking out orlando eight and a half games behind them you know for the magic they've done what they've needed to do up to this point in the season i think they've got to be happy and comfortable with where they are and i'm sure they are i mean they don't have the the target on their back that some of the top teams have but this is a very solid club matt barnes has checked in for ron artest Ryan Anderson, he's checked in for Orlando. Nelson comes in for Gilbert Arenas. Fisher against Nelson. Dishes it to Bass. Oh. 
Over Bynum. Here's Anderson. Down goes the slam. Well, I tell you what, that'll give him a nice lift because that kind of effort always rubs off. Does it ever. Yeah, when you've got one guy out there hustling his tail off, everybody else has to follow suit. Gasol passes to Barnes. He passes to Fisher. The pass to Kobe. The leaner. Here's Gasol. Jason Richardson pulls it in. This has been a strong statement by them, the way they've come out and attacked the glass early. Yeah, I agree, Clark. I, I love the physical play, the fact that they're taking the game right to their opponents. Now, here is Nelson looking for his first bucket of the game. And Gasol comes to help. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got seven rebounds in the game. Kobe against Turkaloo. Richardson against Kobe. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. I was very disappointed in their ball movement, uh, their, their shot selection, their spacing. It seemed like they had no rhythm at the offensive end. None at all, Steve, and in part because they did a poor job of spacing the floor. And when you don't space the floor, it's hard to get shooters open. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Guarded by Nelson. Jumps up. And the basket by Kobe. Kobe's got eight. And one of the things I really respect about Kobe Bryant, guys, is the fact that he continues to get better and refine his game. He's gotten a lot better down on the block, a lot like Michael Jordan did later on in his career. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And Steve, speaking of Kobe's post game, he worked with Akeem Olajuwon, Clark, as I recall, in the offseason to pick up a few tricks. And you know, Kobe already had great footwork, Kevin, to begin with. I mean, a master of those pump fakes, but it starts with balance and good footwork. Um, and he was really a quick study under Akeem Olajuwon. I'm not surprised. Changes for the Lakers. Lamar Odom has checked in for Bynum. Our test comes in for Matt Barnes. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Orlando also making some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Anderson. Richardson comes in for Hito Turkaloo. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jason Richardson. Here is Bass. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Nelson outside, leaps for it, out of bounds, and they retain possession. Here's Nelson. His last outing, 16 points for him. Shot clock at six. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers go with it the other way. And total domination on the glass by them so far. Well, the anticipation has been outstanding. Exquisite. I mean, it seems like they've got an extra sense as to know where the ball is coming off. Now, here is our test. Averaging six points per contest. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Kobe Bryant now in his 16th season in what has been one of the great careers in NBA history. He's battling age now, but still a very, very productive player. He's off on the first. And Steve, you know, for Kobe Bryant, as you said, battling age, he'll be, uh, he's 33 right now going into this season. Wear and tear a uh, a part of the game, he's played so many minutes. Preseason, regular season, all those playoffs, Clark. He said his kneecap is almost bone on bone. He's got an arthritic right index finger on his shooting hand. 
but he continues on. The guy's tough. Yeah, the battle scars of a long, successful career. And he takes pride in that, but he also recognizes the reality of it. And most of the time, you don't find out about those health issues. That's, again, a part of his desire to, once he gets between the lines, to focus 100% on the task at hand, um, not wanting to make excuses. And with his talent and his resume, he never needs to. No, nope, you're exactly right. You know, guys, people talk about jumping ability, but positioning so important. And you can out-rebound much bigger guys when you get inside position. And Reddick kicks to Bass. They're working it around. Richardson against our test. Our test is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. First foul. And uh, 101 left here in the first quarter. Reddick with the three. The three. Power dishes to Richardson. Nelson. Picked up by Kobe. They shoot again. Kicks it out to Richardson. Here's Reddick, guarded by Blake. Tries yet again. Offensive rebound. Oh, that's a frustrating one there. Easy look at the hoop. And here's Kobe for three. And that one's good. Kobe's got 12 points in the game. Orlando trailing here. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. The feed to Reddick. Beyond the arc. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. And he answers right back with a three of his own. Well, you can see it. They're getting into it a bit. A little mano-mano here. One-upsmanship taking place. With one on the clock, Kobe with the bucket. He's got 14. Both these teams really fighting hard here. This is a, an impressive matchup. Yeah, not much separation able to be created either way, and... I really marvel at the effort being expended by both of these teams. And so, both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Lakers on top, up by one. A lot of hard work being put in on the glass. This is a very physical team. They're doing a nice job in the paint. Yeah, and I think they're doing a good job gang rebounding too, Steve. Everybody's boxing out down there. And it's more NBA action coming your way here on 2K Sports. This Wednesday, Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic go on the road to battle the Oklahoma City Thunder. Big time hoops coming your way. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. Here's Fisher. You know, the Magic trying some different techniques last year. One was a shadowing drill that helped improve the conditioning of a lot of the Magic players. Basically, two players were tethered, and the offensive guy had to lose the defender. Interesting strategy and way to try to get ready for the season. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Lakers. Artest and Odom in at the forward slots. Derek Fisher out there with Brown, and it's Bynum in at the five, roaming the paint. Shot clock at two. He lays it in. Bynum's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Lakers. Here's Nelson. Clark, you mentioned that drill, and you find that very interesting. I know it paid off as the Magic were one of the better conditioned teams steve in the nba man before he was traded to washington richard lewis remarked that that drill in particular kind of lets you see who wanted it and who didn't on that roster just a, a very very exhaustive exercise here's fisher odom with it pass to our test he kicks to bynum deflects the pass 
unnecessary pass there. He's got to make a better decision. And here's Nelson, averaging nine points per contest. Lock at six. He's covered by Fisher. Nelson, no luck. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. And here is Odom. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Releases from 15, and the Lakers check on two more. Here's Nelson. Kicks to Richardson. Feeds to Howard. Bynum on him. Goes up. And there's the rejection. The Lakers in the lead. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Fisher. And Bynum backing in. Six to shoot. Outside Odom. The three. Orlando grabs the miss. Howard's got three rebounds so far in the game. What a year Lamar Odom had last season for the Lakers. At times starting, but also coming off the bench when Andrew Bynum was healthy. Uh, but he had a, a terrific year shooting the ball. About 53% from the floor and almost 40% from the three-point line. Gets it to go. Mark and Steve, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. Reminds me of a song. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen a game with so many lead changes this early on. No good. Good D by Howard. Just talking about Odom, 40% from deep is out of this world for a guy his size. I love Lamar's versatility, Kevin. I mean, and adding that three-point shot, being more efficient from out there, just helps him be more effective as an all-around player. And Anderson gets it to go. That's four of their last five coming from long range. This offense is cooking. Yeah, it's rolling, really rolling. And defensively, they kept collapsing, Steve, and leaving them open. So now they're in trouble. They're in a real dilemma now. Boy, every time they drop it in, they do so from close range. Easy baskets. Yeah, high percentage looks time and time again, guys. And it's paying off for them, the way they're playing this game. I, I like their strategy. Here is Anderson. Lamar Odom picking up that last basket. Nelson working against Fisher. One of the reasons they've got the lead is because they've taken good care of the ball. Our test, good. Parky talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition of yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, and it's been one heck of a battle. Well, these are the kinds of games you love. I mean, two good teams going head-to-head, -head, an even matchup, and both sides very competitive on their toes tonight. Richardson for three. Rebound by Ron Artest. Artest's got three rebounds so far in the game. And Bynum backing in. Now Fisher. Shot clock at six. Brown. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. And it's a four-point Laker lead. And it's the Magic with the ball. Trailing by four. Now a timeout called by Orlando. The coach doesn't look pleased at all. He's going to try to iron things out.
teams value the threes so much nowadays. Let's check out the best at it. The Lakers in fifth. That's been an amazing season for them from behind the arc. They've got some great shooters on that team. And the Lakers with some changes. Pau Gasol has checked in for Odom. Barnes comes in for Ron Artest. And Kobe has subbed in for Shannon Brown. Orlando also making some changes. Brandon Bass has checked in for Anderson. Turkaloo comes in for Quentin Richardson. And Gilbert Arenas subbed in for Jameer Nelson. Here's Richardson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Suns in Phoenix. Shot to stop the run. Arenas with the bucket. Arenas has got 11 points. Now these wide open threes have been their undoing. You have to locate shooters and get a hand up. Yep, you do, Steve. And even if it means having their assigned defenders stand at home on three-point shooters, I mean, that would be a worthwhile strategy to pursue because you don't want to give good shooters open threes. And here's Kobe. Gilbert Arenas getting it to go from deep. Kobe with the bucket. And, you know, coming off consecutive championships, the Lakers last season actually took a big step forward offensively. They really improved their offensive efficiency. Here's Barnes. Makes it off the glass. And it's a five-point Laker lead. Here's Arenas. He's got 11. You're right, Steve, up to seventh in offensive efficiency in terms of points per possession in the NBA. And Clark, you know, for the Lakers, an established roster, not surprising they'd get better offensively as they continue to develop that, that chemistry. Well, familiarity. I mean, as you look at the Lakers, they, they are a team that has stayed together and they continue to grow in understanding each other as teammates. You see that also in their turnover numbers last season. I mean, they had the fifth lowest turnovers in the league, and that's about skill and also chemistry. And they've got a pretty good amount of both. The rebound by Kobe Bryant. Rocket six. Shot from free throw range. And again, it's the Lakers. Well, I like that he's come up with some big baskets for this team to help him out in getting this lead. Outside Arenas, Turkaloo, three-pointer. That's in, coming off an assist from Arenas. Turkaloo's got five points so far. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. Now here's Barnes. Here's Kobe. Jason Richardson pulls it in. Turkaloo outside. Outside Arenas. Howard, good. Now just a two-point Laker lead. Defense left him just a little window to get through. And he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. It was a first-round exit for Dwight Howard and the Magic last year from the playoffs. And it wasn't really what they expected. A major step back for a team that was in the finals two years ago. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Clark, yeah, disappointed Dwight Howard. His numbers in that series, though, against the Hawks, still very good. 23 points, 15 rebounds per game. Steve over 60% from the floor. Well, this, the Hawks made a decision that they were going to single cover him down on the block in order to avoid the three-point shots that often come out of the double teams. So uh, it, it was a great strategy by Atlanta. Dwight Howard brought it. He played well, but uh, it wasn't enough for the Magic. get a chance to check out the standings out west already we're in december we'll take a look at the mavericks long way to go still in the season but even so they've got the top spot and of course the los angeles lakers down four spots from them you know right now for the lakers uh, they've lived up to what was expected of them more or less i think uh, but some of their fans probably had a little more in mind 
<laughs> well, fans always have more in mind, Clark. I mean, everybody wants uh, their team to, to win it all. But I think this team has performed admirably to this point, and they've been rock solid. And uh, we'll see if they can uh, maybe make a push heading into the playoffs. Here's Kobe. He's got 18. Sinks it from about nine feet out. Kobe's got six here in this quarter. The defense that time didn't do quite enough. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to stop him when he gets in tight. Here's the screen. Here's Reddick, guarded by Kobe. A shake. And he finishes at the rack. Bass has got his first basket. Now the shots are starting to fall a little bit more than they did in the first quarter. Yeah, they say it's not how you drive, it's how you arrive in golf. Well, the shaky start can be overcome because now they're starting to heat up. And here's Turkaloo for three. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. Well, neck and neck, how about that? I mean, ferociously competitive. I mean, tight as me in an airplane bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's put on an offensive clinic. They've got to deny him the ball. And if that fails, then double him, Steve. I mean, they can't allow him to continue to hurt him like this. Odom back and down. Right side Gasol. He dishes it to Kobe. Back to Gasol. Five on the clock. To halt the run. That is good. Gasol's got six points. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you got to do better than that. Now here's Arenas. He's got 13. Turkoglu with it. Here's Bass. The rebound by Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got three rebounds so far in the game. And here is Blake. Back to Kobe. Offline. He got it up. Can't get it to go. More from Los Angeles after this. No better way to unwind on a Sunday night. We've got your HP Halftime Report. Orlando on top against the Lakers. And from outside, you couldn't shoot it much better than this. They are scorching hot from beyond the arc. We've seen Gilbert Arenas. He's having a superb game. He's scoring from every part of the court, from close range and deep, showing what an offensive threat he is. Not to be outdone, the Lakers also giving it their all. They've tipped off the season strong and look to keep it going. An unbelievable half from Kobe Bryant. He's racked up 20 points, added three rebounds as well. And we check out the players leading their teams in scoring. A lot of offense coming from these two. And now let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. For San Antonio, it was a win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. They stay hot at six wins in their last seven tries. Manu Ginobili led them in scoring. And another one of the games that went final, over at Prudential Center, it was the Nets losing to the Suns. They ended eight back and looked to bounce back from that. Their leading scorer, Darren Williams. And now a look at the other NBA action. Toronto came away with a win against the Kings in Sacramento. So now that's two in a row for them. That's it here. Now let's send you back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the start of the third quarter. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Here's Fisher. Well, the Magic made a sweeping change last December as they were able to move Richard Lewis and Vince Carter and bring in Hito Turklu, Jason Richardson, and Gilbert Arenas. It's not often you see a strong team like that tinker with their roster halfway through the season. On the court for Orlando, Jason Richardson and Hito Turkoglu are at the two and three. Brandon Bass is out there with Howard, and it's Arenas in at the point. Let's 
That free throw, no good. Steve, back to the Magic. They felt like they needed some changes. And, Clark, that trade came, as Steve just said, last December. And it, it just really didn't click, though, as you look at the body of work. Yeah, you kind of like the idea of making a shakeup, trying to get it done, trying to get the pieces together to make a run at a championship. It's unfortunate that they just didn't have the right part. Right. And it sputtered more than it succeeded. Boy, I tell you, the Lakers are always tough on their home court. I mean, visiting teams can get a little starstruck, too. I mean, all kinds of celebrities hanging out in the crowd. Um, just as many famous people watching as actually playing in the mm -hmm. game when you go play the Lakers. He worked his way around the bigger man and found the hoop. Great play. Yeah, really nice play. Wasn't bothered at all. Up with it. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Right, going back to that Lakers home record, 30 and 11. Last season, tied for the fifth best home record in the league. And Steve, you start overlapping, you know, the, the star watching at the games, the good play on the floor. Uh, that's quite a scene. Uh, it's a, a great scene. One of the great venues in the NBA. Uh, and the Lakers, they're competitive year in and year out. And they'll continue to be a tough team, whether it's at Staples Center or on the road. Now here's Turkaloo. Here's Arenas. It's Richardson on the wing. For the three. That's good. And Arenas with the assist. Richardson's got his third basket of the night right there. Big trade last year between Orlando and Washington. Gilbert Arenas going from the Wizards to the Magic. And I, I think it was a good move for him. He had a lot of baggage there in D.C. He needed a new team to, to go to. And he went to Orlando and it became a, a nice role player for them. Here's Orlando now. Left side Arenas. He feeds it to Howard. That's in coming off an assist from Arenas. Arenas has got his third assist on the night. You know, Arenas, more so than any controversy, I mean, in my opinion, his knee issues have been what's hampered his career the most. I mean, once he was one of the most elusive and effective scorers in the NBA. Now he has to rely more on his outside shot. Right side, Arenas. Howard, he's guarded by Bynum. Right up. Howard misses. Now still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. All right, Kobe. On the wing, Kobe. He's covered by Arenas. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Richardson. And Turkoglu backs down. Picked up by our test. Bynum gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Well, when the Magic first came into the NBA in 1989, they had some difficult years, as you would expect, from an expansion team. But they've had a lot of success over the years with guys like Shaquille O'Neal and Dwight Howard. And they've built a really good, strong culture over the past decade. With a break in the action, let's see which teams have come away with the most deals in the NBA this season. The Lakers, number one. You know, this year they've been the number one team in terms of steals. They put an awful lot of pressure on the ball handler, and they also, as a team, do a good job of jamming the passing lanes. Textbook defense is what they play. Here is Arenas. 15 points in the game. From outside the arc, a rebound by the Lakers. Gasol's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Arenas against Fisher. From the arc, 
And Kobe the bucket with the assist from Derek Fisher. Fisher's got assist number eight here in this one already. Orlando trailing here. Now Arenas averaging 14 points a game. Outside Turkaloo launches it. They grab their own miss. And it's slammed in by Howard. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes, and excellent play. These two teams, guys, look so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. Martez kicks to Kobe. Outside our test. Turkaloo picks him up. Six on the shot clock. A fadeaway. Snatched up. There's the dish to Fisher. Now here's Kobe. He has 29. Gasol back and down. Another shot. And another shot. And it's Bynum getting it to go in. Bynum's got six. You know, he's the one guy you have to absolutely be aware of and box out. Arenas against Fisher. Turkaloo passes to Howard. Arenas up top. He's covered by Fisher. And no one able to grab it as it goes out of bounds. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Some changes for the Lakers. Odom comes in for Andrew Bynum. And Matt Barnes is subbed in for Ron Artest. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Orlando. Here's Fisher. Pass to Kobe. Gilbert Arenas covering. Arenas against Kobe. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Tell you what, the defender made a nice recovery there. It looked like he was beaten, but he still managed to challenge the shot. Defense! 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 Backing down is Howard. Defense! Defense! Puts it up, and it's blocked. The Lakers in the lead. Fisher with the ball. Straight up. Bryant. It counts. And the foul. It's on Hito Turkaloo. Now they've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. Yeah, Steven, that's the top priority for any defense. You got to protect the paint. And Kobe, no good on that one. Kobe having just a fantastic game. 31 points, and he's hit two shots from beyond the arc. Now, Clark, that productivity from long range gives them a nice balance offensively. Now, here's Bass. Let's it go. The turnaround jumper. Count it. Bass has got his second basket of the night. Excellent job recognizing he wasn't strong enough to back him down and then took the jumper instead. Outside, Kobe. There's the triple. No luck. So Orlando will take it the other way. Well, Matt Barnes is one of those guys you call an irritant. I mean, he bothers his opponent by really getting into his body, uh, maybe throwing a cheap shot or two along the way, but plays with a ton of passion. Just plays hard. Gasol with the steal. Boy, a lot of darkness there. No daylight to get that ball through. Kobe against Arenas. Goes straight up. It's hauled in by the Magic. Bass has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And you know, for Barnes, really a tough, aggressive player. Clark, he doesn't back down from anybody. Not at all. You're going to know he's out there when you're on the court with him. He battles for every minute. He's an excellent rebounder for a guy of his size and gives you an awful lot of hustle and the edge that winning teams usually have. And here's Fisher. Gilbert Arenas getting it to go from deep. And the Lakers call time here. All right, I think it's center. Look who's coming on on the floor. Come on and be loud for your Lakers, girl. And I think I have the last laugh and I pass class. Told them I was done with it. I'm a sit of a duck, let's have fun with it. I'm a genius, so it's that fool. 
Stay up, not turn off the rat cool, rat soon. I let you later. They said we back. And this track was just a favor. I turned it into a classic hater. I brought rap like a master data. You take forever to make a procrastinator. Blind, you can't see. In your story of Victoria's secret. That's what you should keep. Never mistake kindness for weakness. If you feel a heat in the kitchen, or just washing dishes, or tuition, with the big dreams and wishes, don't stop the listening. Just keep trying to. And some changes here for the Lakers. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Gasol. Our test comes in for Matt Barnes. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Then for the Magic, Malik Allen's checked in for Howard. Clark comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Richardson in for J.J. Redick. Here's Bynum. He's got six. Kobe. And here is Blake. Outside Odom. Lock at six. Left side Odom. Good from 11 feet out. Odom's got his third basket of the night. Here's Turkle. He's got eight. Dishes it to Arenas. Back to Turkaloo. Picked up by Artest. Here's Turkle. Some solid to hear from Bynum. Even numbers. And the basket by Blake. And the Lakers lead by two. How about that? Going up strong. I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's given up. It's attitude with him. Well, one of the things that has made the Lakers so good is their depth and their balance. In fact, last year, defensively, they had the fifth lowest field goal percentage defense in the league. Under 44% for their opponents. They get the rebound. Clark. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Andrew Bynum. Boy, I like the rugged work on the inside that led to that very easy putback. That's going after it there, guys. And that one falls for Clark. And for the Lakers, Clark, that big front court, a, a big part why they're so tough defensively. Steve just said a, a percentage defensively under 44%. Well, length is hard to score over. I mean, some tough, they've got some tough defenders up and down the roster, really. And, and they play a physical style. I mean, you think about a guy like Matt Barnes, Ron Artest. Kobe is a killer defensively when he's locked in. And then they're all experienced, too. I mean, that, that adds to that defensive prowess as well. Now here's Arenas following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Kicks it out to Richardson. Just five to shoot. And unable to corral the miss, and it goes out of play. Now let's take a peek at the league leaders in scoring. Number one, Kobe Bryant. You know what, Kevin? Leading the league in scoring is no small feat. He's out there every night giving it his best, and the effort is definitely paying off. 129 left to play in the third. Blake dishes to Odom. Richardson against Kobe. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. Kobe's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Here's Arenas. 18 points for him. Started by Blake. Shot clock at five. And the basket by Turkaloo. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put on. Look over there at Steve. He's enjoying every second of the <laughs> yes, clock. Yeah, oh, me too. Man. This has been great, guys. The fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. And some changes here for the Lakers. Pau Gasol is checked in for Odom. Round comes in for Kobe. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Steve Blake. The Magic also changing it up. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Malik Allen. Bass comes in for Earl Clark. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Gilbert Arenas. 
35 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Gasol. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Gasol's got eight. Boy, they keep going inside offensively, and guys, they've been very aggressive here. Yeah, huge advantage in points in the paint, and I think the defense has to make an adjustment to protect the middle. Back and down is Howard. Gasol covering. Howard can't hit. A tight game here, and neither team has been able to gain an upper hand on the backboards. Well, both teams really getting after it inside. It's been an interesting battle. And it's Bynum slamming it down. Bynum's got four points this quarter. Here's Nelson. From deep three-point range. And again, it's the magic from deep. And everything's falling from the three-point line here in the second half. And guys, you know, one fed into the other. I mean, now they're shooting with great confidence, and they're on a roll. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. It's been a clinic from Gilbert Arenas. Yeah, so far in this one, he's played a, a different role than normal. But, uh, you know, he's done a nice job as this team's playmaker here today. And all of it's worked for the most part. I mean, he might not be known as a dime dropper, but after this game, he will be. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. The excitement builds as the NBA season heats up. Danny Granger and the Indiana Pacers go up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat. Wednesday Night Basketball. Don't miss it. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Magic put together, they get the Sprite Spark Award. Everything started falling for them in the second quarter, and that is when they took over this basketball game. They'll look to close things out here in the final quarter of play. Thank you, Doris. They made a statement with that big run, Clark. They sure did. I mean, actually, this team has what I like to call spurtability. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, that's becoming one of our trademarks right now. Without there. question. We're all over it. One of the great basketball words out there. <laughs> and, Clark, I think the defense was sort of shell-shocked by that spurtability. They were reeling. So with Kobe sitting on the bench, this is the group Mike Brown has right now. Our test is so on Bynum of the front court. Brown out there with Derek Fisher. Four on the clock. From deep, Richardson. And again, it's the magic from deep. Six points in short order. Two straight from deep. That's what can happen with yep. the three ball. Yep. yep, they've got it going. Nice, clean looks. Now, Fisher fires it up. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. The pass to Richardson. A fader. And Andrew Bynum pulls it down. Bynum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside Gasol. Now the feed to Bynum. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. What a game. This is really fun to watch. And when games are tight like this, I mean, success or failure can really turn on small details and one or two plays. Now, here is Nelson. He passes to Howard. Bynum on him. Richardson kicks to Nelson. The Lakers with the rebound. I tell you what, really a good job to get open and then just kind of botch the release. Fisher against Nelson. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. And this game is tied up now. They're really making a point of taking it inside and scoring from close range. Well, you have to give some of the credit, or actually the blame, I should say, to the defense. They are not doing anything in the paint area. Shoots from the post, and Howard with the lay-in. You know, they'll want to generate more of those shots in tight, guys. And the Lakers have possession. Trailing by two. And 
and Fisher kicks to Brown. Fisher with the ball. Started by Nelson from 11 feet away. And the Lakers tack on two more. Yeah, they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Here's Richardson after the basket by the Lakers. Shoots the three. Nelson with another miss. Here are the Lakers. And here's Fisher. Tipped. It's stolen by Bass. But that's only his first turnover, so he's done a nice job here offensively. Richardson, no luck. Hard test with the ball. By himself. And Shannon Brown with the slam. Check it out here again with the Sprite Slam Cam. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That, that is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Now, here is Nelson. Back and down is Howard. And here's Richardson outside. They get it again. Bass. Here's Richardson. Tries again. And Gasol sends it back. Now Fisher. Pass to Brown. He kicks it to Fisher. Find him with a screen on Richardson. From deep. And Shannon Brown, the bucket on the assist from Derek Fisher. Fisher's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it. Giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively. The ball is really moving. For three, Richardson. Good. And a nice assist from Nelson. Nelson's got three assists in the game. Timeout called the Lakers. He's dialed in from long range. They've got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. For us right now, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to the team. His message was very simple: pick up the pace and be extremely aggressive. He said at one point, "We need to make things very hard on their ball handlers. Let's see if they can feel the heat, guys." Here's what the Lakers are going with right now: Lamar Odom is checked in for Bynum. Barnes comes in for Ron Artest, and Kobe is subbed in for Shannon Brown. Now here's Kobe. Here's Gasol. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Ten points for Paul Gasol. Look at how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assists. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. Arenas against Kobe. Bass with it. Gasol covering. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. You know, with the way they've dominated the glass so far, I'm a little surprised it's still a close game. Yeah, you've got to take advantage. I mean, you're getting extra possessions, but you're not knocking down shots. Takes it up. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Anytime they've needed a hoop, he's taken over one shot after another. Boy, is he playing well. Shooting one. 
and he completes the three-point play. Here is Arenas. It's a seven-point spread. Picked up by Kobe. A leaner. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And for Gilbert Arenas, you wonder, will he ever be able to return to the form that made him an all-star? He's had so many knee problems. He's beyond his prime now and still fighting to return to form. First free throw is good. You know, and for Arenas, it's a matter of really adapting his game as best he can at this point. I mean, three knee surgeries later, he's not going to be able to explosively penetrate like he once did. I mean, so the big scoring numbers may not be there, but he has to be efficient and smarter in how he gets his shots. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Fisher, and here's the Lakers. They're on a 16-7 run. Kicks to Kobe. He's covered by Arenas. Feeds it to Barnes. Fires the three. No good. So Orlando will take it the other way. Turkaloo passes to Arenas. Puts up a three. Another miss by Orlando. Lakers leading by five. And here's Fisher. He dishes it to Kobe. Let's it fly. And again, the Lakers no good. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. Arenas against Fisher. And stolen by Barnes. The water's been choppy for him since halftime from a turnover standpoint. He had just one in the first half, but that number has skyrocketed since. And Nelson gets it to go. Here's Fisher. Arenas against Kobe. Outside Odom. And Fisher kicks to Kobe. Over Arenas. And Kobe the bucket with the assist from Derek Fisher. 38 points for Kobe Bryant. And now six of their last 10 points from mid-range. Yeah, a jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Left side Arenas, picked up by Kobe. Clark dishes to Arenas. He feeds it to Turkaloo. Out to Nelson. Fires from deep. Nelson with another miss. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. Here's Fisher. Here's Gasol. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. Now it's a seven point Laker lead. Now, here is Nelson. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And obviously, Coach doesn't want them giving up all these inside buckets. They need to do a better job of moving their feet, staying in their stance, and keeping their man in front of them. here for the Lakers. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Odo. And it's our test in for Matt Barnes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the Magic. Richardson comes in for Jameer Nelson. That's tipped. Kobe with the steal. He did what he could to try to handle that pass, but that was too hard to handle. Howard against Fisher. 
Left side, Kobe. Gilbert Arenas covering. Moves back up. Bynum. The second effort. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Now here's Arenas. Three-pointer. That's good. Arenas has got five points now this quarter. You got to respect him out there. He can hit that shot. Lakers leading by six. Here's Fisher. The dish to Kobe. Richardson covering. Shoots it, and it's blocked. But he stays with it. Shot clock at six. Gasol passes to Kobe. Stuffs it through. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the sundae on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're down by eight. A minute 20 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Arenas. Backing down is Howard. Fade away. Rebounded by the Lakers. Nice little lead they're enjoying here, and they deserve it with all the work they put in on the glass. Yeah, big margin for them in the rebounding department. They've completely dominated the boards here. Here's Fisher. Howard against Kobe. Gathers, and he makes good on the layup. Kobe's got 42 in the game. He's doing it all for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, they haven't been able to find an answer to stop him, and he's had an answer for every defense he's seen. Howard kicks to Turkaloo. Passes it to Arenas. Dishes it to Howard. Six to shoot. It's in. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Fisher. Gilbert Arenas covering. Kobe against Turkaloo. From past the arc. No good from three-point territory. From deep. No what? And so the Lakers take the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant.